Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be my makeup monthly for the month of October. Welcome to November. Uh, if you are new to my makeup monthlies, they are just like a big wrap up video of all these products that I've been trying out throughout the month and giving my reviews on them. So I have different categories. I have the fail category, the favorites category, and then products that I thought were just fine. I liked them. They're not necessarily a favorite, but I still wanted to give my reviews on them. I do also do a channel shout out in these videos. And then at the end, I do talk about a couple of book favorites since I'm a book blogger and also a published author so that comes at the end of these videos so we always, we always have a lot to chat about so we go ahead and get started so I just finished filming a video it's not gonna go up until Tuesday and I think this one is going up on Sunday so if you're curious about this makeup look it's a little bit on the different side for me right now mostly I feel like the lip color but it's a collab video so it's gonna go up on Tuesday and I'm really excited for it so this a tutorial on this look is coming I also was really cold so I put a jacket on I don't know November and all of a sudden I'm just freezing so what do you do okay so I'm gonna start off with the fail category and I feel like both of my fails are like deeply personal to me so the first one is such a crazy story because I tried it once and I was like love it I tried it twice and I was like bow down I put it on my list to put in my favorite section for this month like I had it on there, you know, even though I don't only tried it two times, but just so I don't forget anything, I'll always just put it on my running list, what category I think it'll go into. And sometimes throughout the month, they'll, you know, switch around. This went from my favorites all the way down to my fails because after I tried to use it for a third time, I couldn't use it anymore. This is from Natasha Denona. It is her crystal top coat in bronze. So it just looks like this. That's what the packaging looks like. And then you have this topper in here. These are $28. The first time I used it, I thought it was so beautiful. I, oh my gosh, it just looked so pretty on the eyes. I just put like a little bit of brown shadow and then I just tapped my finger in here and was able to tap it on the lid. Mm, it was so pretty and I was so excited. The second time I used it, I was like, love it. I went to try to use it the other day for, I, I published my seventh book. So my friends were taking me out and I was like, oh, I'm going into Natasha Denona, man. I got my eyes all like prepped, ready to go. Put my finger in it. And I was like, hmm, nothing's happening. Put more on my finger. I'm like, where, what's going on here? Grabbed a brush, nothing. Sprayed the brush, nothing. Um, I, it's like completely dried out. And I used it two times. And I mean, the cap on it, you can screw, I mean, you can't screw the cap on any farther. It's on there two uses out of this and it's $28. I did get it sent to me as a gift from a friend, but uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, so that was really frustrating, but that was, it was one of those reasons why I wanted either the hour, Hourglass, yeah, the Hourglass Scattered Light or the Marc Jacobs sequence so badly because I saw how beautiful this was and I really wanted something that I could use more than two times. So Natasha Denona, you failed me hard. Okay, so next up, this is from Sigma Beauty, and I am so bummed about this because I'm mostly just confused. So this is from their new Viper collection that they recently released, and it's one of the liquid lipsticks. This one is in Anti-Venom. Now, they do have another liquid lipstick, and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. Um, Venom? I don't remember. Venom? Anti-Venom? Maybe. But I haven't used it because I tried this one out and didn't like it so much that I'm, like, I just don't want to try the other shade to see but what's really weird is that sigma came out with liquid lipsticks like last year enjoy them so much foxglove is still continues to be one of my favorite shades i still talk about it i still enjoy it so much and uh new mod is another one love it so when these new ones came out i was like yes and so i immediately gravitated towards you know kind of like this paler nude one and immediately as I was applying it to my lips i was like oh no 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 and i you know i was getting ready to film a video and I was like, there's no way I can film with the, just this uh, just this on my lips. And I had to put a lip gloss over it because it is just extremely dry. It's extremely like crumbly and cracky on my lips. It was very unflattering. Uh, I used to deal really badly with dry lips since I've been using the Laneige Sleeping Mask. That's really like changed things around for me, which is crazy and awesome. So I don't really have that. You know, there's certain liquid lipsticks that just didn't look the greatest with my dry lips, but I have not had that issue, but this one looked just so bad on me. And it was crazy. It's it just, it's almost like it's just dried out or something. I don't know what that's about, but I don't know if they, they must have changed their formula or something, or I don't, I don't really know what happened here, but I'm super bummed because I thought for sure this would be another favorite of mine. 
but I really I really wouldn't be able to recommend that liquid lipstick, which bumps me out. Moving over to my fine category. Again, products that I like and I want to be able to share my review. They're just not a personal favorite of mine, but they weren't a total fail. And, you know, maybe you'll get something out of my reviews. So I have two items here from Flower Beauty that I was testing out. One is the Warrior Glitter Shadow. So a lot of brands right now seem to be coming out with these um, kind of like liquid glitter eyeshadows. This shade is in Blaze or Blade. Which one are you? Blade. This one is in Blade. So I'll do a little swatch of it here. It is a really pretty glitter, if you can see that. This one is really pretty. I, I like the shade on it for sure. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the ones from Pixie Beauty, where I, I like it. I just don't absolutely love it. You kind of need to have, you know, another shadow down. I compare a lot of these liquid glitters to the Stila glitters, which are my personal favorite and still continue. Like, no one has knocked them off yet. I really like those because you don't need anything else on your eyes. I can just go right in with those glitters and they are just like fully pigmented. They have a lot of base in them, but also a lot of glitter and shine at the same time. This one I feel like is... I actually feel like this one is maybe just like a little bit above the pixie ones, um, but still I feel like you need to put something down. Otherwise, I feel like I kind of have to layer and layer and layer and that's kind of uncomfortable. And then also once it starts to dry, you get some glitter fallout on your face. So that's my personal preference when it comes to glitters. If that's something that doesn't bother you, I think that you could still really like these. Uh, I've tried to wear them, you know, through like several hours to see how the fallout is. And to me on this one, it's pretty standard to what I get. The steel ones really don't move on me. Um, Pixie, I got a fair amount, like nothing too crazy, but a fair amount. This one, I think that I get even less than the Pixie. So honestly, I would probably recommend the Flower Beauty over the Pixie. Pro they're really, really close to one another, but if you're like, I'm only going to pick one, I would say probably the Flower Beauty. This is also available at Ulta. I believe it runs for like $10 or $11, um, but so far I really am liking them. Again, just not like a total favorite, but I was totally will still wear these, uh, and I do think that they're really nice. And then another product from a Flower Beauty, this is the Light Illusion Foundation. I believe this is like $13, $14, and it can also be found at Ulta. Mine is in the shade M1, I think it is. Yeah, Natural Beige M1. It says all day wear. It does have an SPF of 18. It says it's supposed to have a luminous finish, um, a nude skin feel, and all day wear. So it does have a pump on it, which is really nice. Okay, so again, I like this foundation. I think that I'm really going to like it more in the wintertime also because it definitely really does give you that luminous glow, a very dewy glow. When I am like really, really dry come wintertime, these foundations I'm just like all about because my skin is just like begging for them. So I think I'm going to like it even more in the next coming months here, but I still really do like it. I don't feel like it has the all-day wear. Um, sometimes... Sometimes that's something I can notice with more luminous or dewy finish foundations. They don't seem to last the best throughout the day. Uh, I definitely do like to powder with this one and I feel like it helps it last a little bit longer and it kind of takes away some of that like overly like if, if I might just get like a little bit too luminous when I wear this one but again I feel like that's about to to go away um, but I still really do like it I like the coverage on it it's more to me it was more of like a medium coverage which I enjoy I don't like anything that's like super super full coverage I like the the luminosity that it get, gives to the skin I just wish that it lasted just a little bit longer but overall I think that it's a really nice foundation so I do like that one and like I said I feel like I'll be wearing it more coming up here uh, another product I have here is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Hollywood Lips, and the shade is Too Bad, I'm Bad. Now, this is a $34 liquid lipstick, so it's very, very pricey. I actually got mine off of the Glambot website, um, which has, like, used makeup. Um, for liquid lipsticks, you cannot resell liquid lipsticks or anything where, you know, you would apply it and then put it back in because you can't, um, you can't disinfect them. Uh, so this was actually an unused Charlotte Tilbury liquid lipstick and I got it for what, what did I pay for it I got it for cheaper on the Glambot website which I was excited about I don't feel like I hear a lot of people talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood lips um so I just wanted to test it out to see for myself now I will say one thing about this is that I do not like the applicator I don't understand the applicator I don't like it I don't like when I first pulled it out I honestly thought it was like broken I, I don't know because uh, I was like oh no someone like ate the applicator that's weird but 
I think this is how it's supposed to look, I guess, maybe I'm not sure, but um, it works, like it applies it to the lips, it's just not my favorite applicator. So there is the shade, it's kind of like that rosy, like pinky rosy shade. It does dry down completely matte. I like this liquid lipstick. It, again, I, I don't think it's going to be a favorite formula of mine. And for $34, like, I don't think that I'd repurchase any at the $34 if I could get it cheaper, sure. But I like it. Um, it's a little bit more on the drying side on the lips, but not super, super dry. And I'm someone who can do dry liquid lipsticks because I want that all day, you know, wear power. Um, but I don't like too dry, crumbly like that Sigma one. This one is more comfortable, but if you do not like dry at all, I don't think that you would like these. Um, but I liked it and I felt like it lasted pretty well on me throughout the day um, it doesn't hold up the best like through eating and things like that which again not all liquid lipsticks do but there's some of those gems that you can find I, I liked it I just posted a photo on Instagram I'll list it here where I'm wearing this lipstick I like the shade of it and I like it I just again I don't feel like we're just gonna be like BFFs for life but like we're getting along for right now you know we're chatting hanging out. My final product for the fine category is again from Sigma. This is the actual Viper eyeshadow palette that released in the Viper collection. Now I did get this, this sent to me, this collection sent to me. I am an affiliate with Sigma. I have the, the coupon code and everything, um, but that never matters to me. I mean, in these videos, pretty much in every category, there's something that was sent to me and it just, it just doesn't, that doesn't bother me. I just always say what's on my mind about the products. Um, this one I thought was just okay. I think it's mostly the color scheme that's really getting to me. Uh, I, I like that it's a little bit different and a little bit, you know, on the interesting side. But for me and, and my, my brain when doing makeup, I don't look at this and immediately know what I'm doing. The first couple of looks that I did with it, I was mostly using, you know, kind of like these brown shades, this brown shade. Um, this shade is actually really pretty all over the lid and I was wearing it in a recent video, but like this green is a matte green and it's not the easiest uh, matte shadow that I've ever worked with. The blue is really pretty, but you know, blue is kind of like that bubble blue and like a lot of different palettes. For me, mostly it's the, the color story in here. If you think that you would get on with this and you you know, like you would be able to create some fun looks. I do like the actual quality of the eyeshadows. I like the packaging on it. You do get a nice mirror. Um, so I, I like the packaging and everything. For me, it's mostly the color scheme. Again, this is another one that I like, but I would just be lying if I said it was an absolute favorite, like run out and grab this one. You know, six shades, you might be a little bit limited. I like the mini palettes, but I feel like this one could have benefited from like one or two more like I really like nine pan palettes like maybe if it may had like three more shades I would get on with it a little bit more but for me it's it's pretty good it's just not like fabulous you know okay before I hop into my favorites I'm gonna do my channel shout out this is like one of my favorite things about doing my makeup monthly video I love being able to support and just like recommend other youtubers bloggers hard-working peeps over here and for this month I am recommending a Charlotte Holcroft Hopefully I'm saying her last name correctly. She is a UK based blogger and I just think her channel is fantastic. She's also, I, I feel like she's also another very like supporting uh, YouTuber out here. I see her comment a lot in my videos and other videos as well, um, which I just think is fantastic. She posts a lot of videos. I Again, I don't know if she posts every day, but she posts a lot of days. I see a new video pop up on my subscription feed. I'm fairly confident I found her through Mel Thompson who she was my like channel shout out two months ago. I think maybe, I know they did a collab recently, but I was already familiar with Charlotte's channel, but I think maybe Mel mentioned her or something. Um, and that was how I discovered her channel. She does a lot of great reviews over there. She, I think she's in her thirties. Like I am, um, I believe she's a mom. She has two children. Um, but I also like with her being UK based and me being US based, I just always hear feel like I hear about like different products and stuff um, from her and like the market over there which is always really interesting to me but yeah she does a lot of reviews which I think is great um, and she's had some really cool chatty videos as well that I just really get interested in. I love hearing more about other YouTubers instead of always like just makeup, just makeup, just makeup. I like to get to know people a little bit more and I feel like she has a lot of videos on her channel, some videos on her channel um, that are like that as well but I definitely recommend that you check her out. I of course will have her YouTube listed down below. Let her know I sent you. That would be awesome. Uh, and how I do my creator shout out is I actually also feature them in my monthly newsletter. So my newsletter for November has not gone out yet. It'll probably go out next week I'm thinking but I do a feature in there. Um, you know I do reviews like new makeup spotlights and things like that, standout products, etc. 
but I also have a section um, doing a short Q&A with another blogger. So if you're interested in receiving the November newsletter, if you haven't signed up yet, I'll have the link down below. And then there will be a short Q&A with Charlotte over there as well. So good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so moving on to my favorite products. I figured we could start off with some skincare. So I have a product here from Pixie Beauty. I really enjoy Pixie Beauty's skincare. I think I like Pixie skincare even more than I like their makeup line. Um, they just have some really good products. And recently I keep using their Glow Mud Cleanser, which looks like so. Um, so it says with 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera, it's supposed to be a deep purifying cleanser. And I believe this guy's like $18. You can also find Pixie Pixie at Target. Okay, so I've been putting this one in my shower because it is a darker um, matte. I don't know if you'd be able to tell. It's a little bit darker. Obviously, I don't want to like squeeze any out. A little bit darker, so I kind of like using some of like these darker products in my shower just because it's easier to clean and like rinse everything away, you know? So I've been putting it in my shower as well, but I really like it because how it says it has the aloe vera and it's more of like a soothing cleanser. I feel like it's still really getting in there and it's really like kind of pulling everything, but at the same time, I have sensitive skin and it does. It just feels like just feels nice on the skin, but it also smells like you're in the freaking spa. Mm -hmm. I love when I use this. I like close my eyes and try to pretend that like I'm getting spa treatments done. That doesn't happen, but I try. I try to pretend with that one. Okay, um, this one here from Bosha. I actually mentioned it in my Sephora uh, VIB sale recommendations video, but it is the detoxifying black cleanser. Now, Bosha products, they're like black products, the black detoxifying line. I don't know what they would call that, but their black peel mask. I've talked about it way long ago and I did not like it at all. I actually had a product from Bosha. I think it was last month. One of their black peels, like regular peels, gel peels. I can't remember, but uh, I did not like that one at all. And so I was a little bit nervous to try this out, but I actually can't stop using it. So I definitely wanted to recommend it. I believe this guy's like $34. Uh, it says it's a warming gel cleanser that deeply cleanses and refreshes the skin. It dissolves pore clogging impurities, oil, and makeup as it refines skin texture. It's supposed to brighten and also minimize the look of pores over time. It definitely is. The only like bad thing about it is I feel like it's kind of hard to get out. I have it sitting on my bathroom and I have to take my whole palm and really like to get some product out, but it is very warming on the skin. It feels pretty nice. I like to use it more in the PM because I feel it's almost like a little sticky when you apply it. It's not the easiest to move around, but at the same time, I leave it sit that, there for a few minutes on my skin. And I just feel like when I take it off, it's just like, mm, like my, my skin appreciates this. But also, like it said, it is also a makeup remover. So I like it to, you know, if I need to double cleanse or something like that, I feel like it's really getting all my makeup off. So I prefer this in the PM, but I've really been liking that one. Uh, of course, I just wanted to give brief mention to the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I've already mentioned this one, but this completely changed my lips. I've put it in my recommendations video as well. I've been using it every single night. I love the way it smells. Um, and I have not had any dry or cracked lips since I started using this. Winter will definitely be a really good test of it because my lips get so dry in the winter, they actually crack and bleed. So I will be very curious, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep using this every night. It's $20, I think it's fantastic. I would highly recommend if you have super dry lips like me. I have been loving on this contour palette, this Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette from MAC Cosmetics. Ever since I started trying it, they did send this over to me, but I've just been so impressed. This is for light medium, and I think they have medium deep also, I wanna say. Uh, these are $39.50 each, and I don't know what it is about this palette, but I just cannot stop with it. It has a really nice mirror. I really like, especially these bottom shades here for contouring and bronzing. Uh, the middle shade is better for contour. Um, for me, it's a little bit more on like the cool, son cool toned side, which I like for a contour. This one here um, doesn't, it's not as cool toned, so I like that one as a bronzer. And then we have some setting powders up here, which are really nice on the under eyes. I just feel like they're such natural looking powders. They don't, they don't take a lot of work. You don't need to do a ton of blending with them and they're just very natural. Like I get one of the most natural looking contours when I'm reaching into this palette and that's what I'm really liking it for the most. Like if I could just go out and purchase this shade, I probably would because it's just such a natural contour. So I really wanted to mention it. Um, there's six different shades. I don't use all of the shades. Uh, like this one here is a little bit too light for me and this one is just kind of like an in-between that I don't use at the moment but the other four I've been really liking so really loving on that contour palette from MAC. I have some lipsticks here. I finally got to try the Too Faced Peach Lipsticks. What are these called? The Too Faced... Uh, 
Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Long Wearing Lipsticks. Well, no wonder I can't remember that name. These are $21. I had a friend send some to me. And these are so nice. They smell really good, but the scent is very overpowering. So, but I like the smell personally, so I don't mind it. But if you don't like a lot of scent and makeup, you're going to hate this. Mm, but I love the way that they smell. Okay, so I have two different shades here that I've really been enjoying. So this first one is called Sure Thing. It is a little bit more like pinky, like pinky nude. A little bit of like cool tones. But the other one is my fave. I had to go get it out of my purse. It is called Sex on the Peach. And the first time that I wore these, like I had them and I was like, okay, pick a shade. And I swatched both and I was like, mm, I kind of want to go with Sex on the Peach. It was like an hour later, I was like, girl, you should really go see if you can get your nails done. They're looking not great. So I went in, went to get my nails done and just in the middle of talking to the nail tech, she goes, I really like your lip color. What is it? I go, oh, it's from Too Faced. And she goes, oh, what's the shade? I was like, I knew it. I knew you were going to make me say it. So I was like sex on the peach and the entire salon started laughing i was like yep this is my life i always gravitate toward lip products with ridiculous names age sex location anyone like come on so there is a sex on the peach it's so beautiful oh i really love it oh man mm. just even swatching it i'm like i want to put it back on my lips uh it does have like that matte finish but it's actually creamy to apply i don't always enjoy matte bullet lipsticks but this mm, this is definitely my favorite for sure um i do like sure thing but like the formula i really enjoy but if you want my favorite shade at the moment it's sex on the peach for sure you are welcome for that visual. <laughs> okay, I just have a couple products left. One is a pair of lashes. These are from Lily Lashes. These are for the Sephora collection. These are in London. These lashes are so beautiful. I don't know if you'd be able to see them the best since I've already worn them, but I enjoy these so much. What's weird though is I couldn't find the London lashes listed on the Sephora website, and I really couldn't find the London lashes at all. I had a friend send, them, send these to me, I wonder, I know she does a lot at like TJ Maxx and people said they saw some of these at TJ Maxx, but I don't know if the Sephora collection would be there. But anyways, this was my first time trying Lily Lashes and they made me go out and purchase Mykonos during the sale because I'm so impressed with these. They're so lightweight on the eyes. It feels like you're not wearing any lashes. The band is super easy to work with and I just think that these are so flattering. I've been loving the London Lashes and I was really excited to give Lily Lashes a shot. They're also now available at Ulta Beauty, which I think is great. The Lily Lashes for the Sephora collection are $30. At Ulta, they're only $26, so I think that's kind of silly, but really enjoying those from Lily Lashes. And then to finish off the beauty section, I have two new makeup brushes that I want to recommend. These are both from the Moda Metallics line. I've loved the Moda Metallic brushes for a very long time. Uh, I posted about it in my... My video where I was giving one last chance to two of the palettes that I have on my chopping block for my next declutter, I mentioned in there that Moda actually chose me as their Moda Maven for the month of November, which is super cool. Um, so basically they just, you know, they um, spotlight a blogger throughout the month and I have like a little feature over on the website, which is really cool. Um, but they sent me a bunch of brushes a while ago to be able to try out some more of and I really wanted to spotlight these two because they have just been so, so lovely and I keep reaching for them all the time so I wanted to mention these two specifically so this one here is the highlight and glow brush and I just keep using this one it reminds me a lot of the fo3 from Sigma it reminds me of the Anastasia I think it's called like the a23 brush this is just such a bomb highlighting brush it's what I used today in my video that you'll see coming up on Tuesday but it's such a good highlighting brush and then another one is the angled blender brush which looks like this and when I first pulled it out I was like okay I'll definitely use this for like foundation and blending foundation but I love it for blush I just think it's such a good blush brush it's more dense so you it's almost like you don't even need to pick up that much product versus using like a fluffier blending brush um it, it's almost like you don't need as much product and you're still going to get a lot of blush deposited on there so i've just been really enjoying this one too again the metallic line has just been one of my favorites for such a long time but i wanted to spotlight these two i do have an affiliate code with moda brushes i have for a while it's typically for 10 percent off your purchase but for the month of november since i'm their moda maven it's actually for 20 percent off it's just samantha but if you're interested in any these are two of my favorites let me know if you'd want to see a new favorite brushes video because I haven't done one maybe I did one at like the beginning of the year 
But if you'd want to see another one, just to let me know and I can do that. But that is going to wrap it up for all of my beauty favorites. I do have two book favorites to chat about, but if this is where you're ending the video, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Before we jump over into the books, I did want to include Lifestyle. I forgot to include it in last month's Makeup Monthly, and I almost forgot to include it this month. Uh, but I'm trying to put like some sort of lifestyle piece in here, whether it be like clothing, fitness, something like that. And this month, I wanted to mention these two products here from Teddy Blake. These were gifted, um, but this is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but they did send these to me. They have sent me a purse in the past too, and their quality is so, so nice. I've actually only carried Teddy Blake handbags now for at least over a year. I have like a beige one that I carried all throughout I think almost all throughout last year and through the winter and then in the springtime I switched to a blue one and now I'm going to switch back to the beige but they now have wallets and also card holders here and they sent me both of these I picked out the color because I love this color I think it's so beautiful but this is the wallet I mean it is the wallet I'm using now so like all of my stuff is in here but um this is the wallet but it's nice and big you have like card things on either side you have the zipper in the middle um that's where I put my change and stuff but I just think it's such a sleek looking wallet but honestly this is gonna sound so weird but I love this card holder it's such like a a like a random thing and something I never knew I needed in my life until I got it and I was like hmm I understand now. So this is perfect for when I'm doing like traveling. When we went to Arizona, it was like earlier in the years in March, one of my biggest problems was I took like a little mini backpack to carry with me, but I didn't have, like I didn't want to put my wallet in there. Like my wallet was too big for the mini backpack, but I would just like throw my ID, my card, my money, anything like that. And it would just all be kind of like tumbling around the backpack, which was annoying. Same thing when I went to Vegas, same thing. Oh, I have this when I went to New York, which was great because it fits just what you need perfectly. Your ID, maybe a card. You can even put like, you can fit cash in here also but it's so cool for that reason and it's why I really like it it's such a again it's such like a random thing but I think it's fantastic so if you do a lot or if you do something where you don't want to carry I, I don't know like I, I can even put this in my clutch um so I don't have to be like for my bigger clutches and then we're out and about and I'm looking trying to find my ID I can just have it all in this card holder Again, not something I knew I needed until I got it, but I did want to say thank you to Teddy Blake for sending these to me because I just think they have the most gorgeous pieces and everything, like I've been saying, is just super quality. Uh, again, I'm, I'm recycling my handbag that I carried last year because I don't care and that's how I roll, but it's in such great shape that I can do that. So I wanted to mention these. I'll have the Teddy Blake website listed down below in case you want to check them out if you're a big like handbag wallet type of person. Uh, I kind of am. That's where like uh, purses have been like my... My publishing gift to myself like my very first book that I published I bought a Michael Kors purse you know like that's how I roll but I will definitely have the Teddy Blake website listed down below but I did want to mention that lifestyle piece and now let's jump into the books I mentioned I'm a published author I'm also a book blogger my seventh novel did release in October so that's definitely like another favorite of mine it is the six of Scarlet so I started publishing the six series back in May with the first book which is Christy the second book Scarlet just came out it's available in paperback and also ebook on Amazon and we are in production for the audiobook, which has me super excited. Christy is available on audio through Audible if you're interested in that one. And I do have a narrator, and she is currently in production with Scarlet, which is super cool. But that book is now released. Thank you guys so much for the support on that one. I'll link a Get Ready With Me down below where I was just doing my makeup and chatting about the book. But I've had so much support on this one. It's like mind-blowing to me. And it's crazy how many people are saying that they can connect with Scarlet's story. Like it's almost spooky. It focuses a lot on like toxic friendships and what to do about that. So I'll have the Amazon links down below. But for my book favorites, so I do have a book blog. It's called Chiclet Plus. And each month on my Makeup Monthly, if I have any five-star books that I've reviewed throughout the month, I'll feature them in this video. So I'll have the link to my blog down below. I also have the Amazon links for all these books as well. The first book that I gave five stars to is called Go On Girl. And this is by Hilary Grossman. Hilary Grossman has been a friend of mine for a very long time. I started publishing seven years ago. I started my book blog nine years ago. I have a lot of great connections in the industry and especially with other authors and bloggers. And Hilary has been a great friend for such a long time. I highly recommend her books. She has several of them out there now. 
and Go On Girl is her latest one. It's almost kind of like that mommy lit book, I would say, where our main character is Sydney. We're following her. She has a first grader, I believe it is, and she joins the PTA. And she's a, you know, kind of like that corporate mom. She has a very, um, you know, successful career. She's busy a lot. She travels a lot. But she also has a husband and a daughter and a daughter who she just adores and she wants to do anything for. And she joins the PTA. And things get a little crazy. I feel like I've read a lot of books about where moms join the PTA and things go a little crazy. Are you a PTA mom? Definitely recommend Go On Girl. And then the next book that I have to recommend, I'm gonna scroll up here, is called The Ex's Revenge by Joe Jakeman. Go On Girl, like I said, it's more like women's fiction slash mommy lit, chick lit. The Ex's Revenge. I think I started off my review by saying this book made me sweat. <laughs> and if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about this once on my Instagram stories about how I needed to give myself a break from this book because it was so good and I wanted to keep reading, but it was so terrifying at the same time I was actually sweating reading it because I was so terrified. So this book, I, I have two main genres that I really like to read. Chick lit, women's fiction, a little more on the humorous side, and then like psychological thriller. Those are the two genres I really enjoy. And this one definitely is more in the psychological thriller suspense category. And holy buckets, this is crazy. So we follow three women who they're all exes of the same guy. And the guy is definitely someone who is, you know, like me mentally abusive, physically abusive. Um, and the exes kind of band together to try to do something about him. But it's like, it's like really messed up, okay? Like, if I swore on my channel, you know what I'd be saying right now, because I would not be saying it's messed up, because it is just crazy. I don't want to give too much away, because there's so many twists in the story that you're just like, what, what, what? And if you guys read it, you'll have to tell me if you think that you know the part where I was sweating, that I had to give myself a break, because it just got so intense, but so good. I Like I said, I didn't want to stop reading it. I was fully invested in that story. Um, if this is your type of genre... I would highly recommend reading The Ex's Revenge. But those are the two books that I reviewed for CLP that I gave a five-star review to, so I hope you enjoyed getting those over here. But after that, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my makeup monthly for the month of October. You'll have to let me know what you thought of some of these products that I mentioned down below. I wish you all a wonderful November. Let's have another amazing month. I hope that you guys will give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.